Hello, and uh, welcome to another quick Python video. Um, we're going to be looking at changing the overclocking settings and allowing you access to change various other settings um, within XPN. Uh, XPN uh, has recently introduced a new menu that you can launch from within XPN that lets you configure um, all sorts of things. But I have to admit, I couldn't find a, find a way within that new menu to change things like overclocking. But this doesn't matter, because um, one thing that XBN has uh, advantage of over OpenELEC, for instance, is that it's built on the Raspbian operating system. Um, so we can actually fall back to Raspbian to change some settings. But here we are, uh, just looking at the new menu that XBN have created, which is very similar in fact to the Open Elec menu, and this lets you configure um, networking, it lets you update, it's really quite a, an excellent new feature. This is only my first look at this menu, but I couldn't see a way to change overclocking. But no matter, because all you have to do is actually exit XBN. And this is an option that you wouldn't get under OpenELEC, because OpenELEC doesn't have um, a, a usable operating system that you can exit to. So go ahead and uh, hit the home button, and shut down, well, exit XPN. And you wouldn't get this option uh, with OpenELEC. And this will take you back to the login prompt, at which point my camera's decided to go a bit mental. And you log in as XPN, and the password is Raspberry. And from there, uh, you are instantly taken to a whole um, selection of settings and things that you can change. We can change the overclocking. Um, just remember, uh, to ch actually change a setting, uh, press the space bar. Oh, I forgot that. So I'm going to change my uh, overclocking to medium. If you make any um, significant changes, the, the system will prompt you to reboot. And that's it. So all you have to remember, um, if you want to change anything significant, is to actually exit XBN, and then you can change all sorts of things from within Raspbian. Uh, see you next time on Python.